Hello, this is Angela from Homeless for Making. Tonight I'm going to be showing you how to make your own face serum. This one is going to be focusing more on anti-aging. So we have talked a little bit about, okay, a lot about frankincense oil and why it's so wonderful. So we're going to use that because it's great for those blemishes, reducing signs of aging. It's just really good for your skin. And then lavender is such a good one for your skin. And the two smell really good together. So you do want to know your skin type. So depending on your skin type, you may want to use different carrier oils than what I'm going to use tonight. But the ones I'm using are really pretty good for most skin types. So if you have you know dry skin, normal skin, um, you know oily skin or aging skin, it, these really are pretty safe for any one of those. Um, acne prone would be another one, and I think most of them, maybe not the almond oil, is not the greatest for that one. But I'm going to be using almond oil. Ahoba, I think I'm saying that right, oil. Avocado oil. This one's really good. And I like to repurpose my bottles, so I'm gonna use this one. It's about a two ounce bottle. I'm gonna use about a third of each one of these. So first I'm gonna count out my uh, essential oil drops, and I'm going to use 10, I'm gonna use 15 of frankincense. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm gonna go 20. <laughs> like my stuff strong. I want it to work. <laughs> and then lavender. I'm gonna put 10 of lavender in. Why I've been turning the camera up. Somebody takes so long. Five, six, seven. There you go. Eight, nine, ten. You just gotta turn it the right way. So that's the essential oil. Then I'm gonna do about a third of the bottle. These. This is why this little funnel just comes in so handy. Gotta wait for it to go down. So do you make your own face serum? Have you tried out the one I've posted? Previously, did you like it? Give me some feedback, guys. I love feedback. Positive, preferably. <laughs> but I mean, if it didn't work for you, be truthful. Now we're gonna put in the sweet almond oil. And we're gonna do another third of the bottle full of that. Pretty easy. I like easy, how about you? And then the rest I'm going to fill up, which would be the last third with the avocado oil. I like to use organic whenever possible because it's going on my skin. And that's really important to me that it's quality ingredients. That's why I like these oils. That's why I like making my own things can't make everything at home, but what you can make at home, and you can make better. It's always awesome. So you just put your lid on top, and you give that a shake. And then you put it on your skin. Make sure you're cleansing your skin. Um, if you caught the DIY I did on the facial cleansers, I've been using them. I love them. Love, love, love that recipe. Um, it's great. If you haven't uh, seen that one, go check it out. Cleanse your face. Put your serum on, rub it into forehead, cheeks, rub it in nice, give it a nice little massage, facial massage, a little pampering at the end of your day, and let me know what you think of this anti-aging <laughs> face serum. Until next time, this is Angela from Home is for Making. Please visit our YouTube channel and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and head over to the blog where you can find this recipe and so much more. I keep posting new things as soon as I can get to them. Hopefully every week stay consistent there, I'm aiming to. Um, but be sure to subscribe there as well so then you get a little email when I've posted something new. 
and share, share with your friends. I appreciate all the shares and all the support I've been getting. Thank you very much for that. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.